All right, uh, temperatures right now. Just beautiful upper 60s, lows to mid 70s area wide. We've got a little bit of a breeze off the lake, cooling our lakeshore communities, but lake temperature sitting at 73, so it really doesn't cool it a whole lot. But that wind continues to produce a nice breeze out of the north northeast this evening. And that's bringing in drier air from Canada. So our dew point numbers are down into the 50s. That means you can barely feel the air. Not going to sweat at all as you're heading on out. Your patio forecast this evening. We're in the 60s for most of the evening. Notice three old big green check marks equaling. You can get outside and enjoy this evening. I think you really don't need me to tell you that. So where's our next little bump in the road, so to speak? No clouds around the area. We did have a couple pop up this afternoon. Everything kind of shrinking down towards the south. But as we look out towards the west, you notice there's some kind of system here, a little frontal boundary, then the west coast actually getting some rain. They haven't rain, had rain in a while, areas of Washington and Oregon. But as we look out towards the west, our closest clouds in the sky right now are 593 miles away, and this doesn't even show signs of hitting us. So we have to look even further west than that. The closest clouds to Cleveland that will hit the area, 1,500 miles away. That's not a bad forecast, right? But the thing you don't see, we've got a lot of heat in the plains, and that heat will begin to build and expand into northeast Ohio as we go throughout your Labor Day forecast. So let's bring on the good news, shall we? National Design Mart, hour by hour forecast. Cool night tonight. Numbers have come up a little bit. Remember last night we were looking at maybe low and mid 40s. Well, we've got a little bit more mixing in the atmosphere, a little bit more moisture as well. So we're going to go upper 40s tomorrow morning, but some traditional outlying locations could get down mid 40s. You know who you are. The rest of us is going to be dealing with a nice warm start tomorrow morning, giving way to 70s in the afternoon. Lots of sunshine around. And notice the wind direction change, changing to out of the south. That will start to pump in more humidity, but slowly as we get into the weekend. This is now Saturday at noon, another sun-filled day. But as we get into the afternoon Saturday, this is when that frontal boundary begins to bring some clouds into northeast Ohio. So we'll make it into the 80s. We will have some clouds around, uh, but overall another gorgeous day. What could ruin a pattern like this. Oh, atmospheric smoke. Let's check on that. Where's that smoke? Well, the good news is it's out towards the west. We have smoke fields or smoke free skies. We'll have nice blue skies out there. Look at the smoke, though, gathering in the northern plain states. Again, that stays west as we go throughout the weekend. So there's nothing to ruin this weekend, right? Well, a little bit of heat. If you don't like the heat, there's that. This ridge does build back into northeast Ohio into next week. That will bring our temperatures up near 90 degrees. If then, maybe a couple degrees above that as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All indication is the ridge goes back to really where it is most of this time of year, back towards the desert southwest. So short-lived little area of heat, but overall it is going to get warmer. So 84 Saturday, 87 on Sunday, and we're going 90 on Labor Day itself. In terms of humidity, that starts to build back as well. It will be pretty sticky around here Monday into Tuesday. Next shot at rain, says the Union Hill Mortgage seven day forecast. Not until Wednesday evening into Thursday, as it looks right now. That will be with the frontal boundary that cools our temperatures off later next week.